Hello and welcome to the Zeiss EQ Workplace tutorial videos. In this video, we will show you how to create a new Toric IOL manually on Zeiss EQ Workplace. Again, to manage your IOLs and thus to create a new IOL, you need to go to the Zeiss EQ Workplace web service. After logging in, click on IOL Management to open the tab. In the upper table, your personal IOLs are displayed. A list with IOLs available in the system database is displayed below. Now, click on the Create New IOL button. A new dialog window opens with the input fields for the values of the IOL to be created. The input fields Barrett, DF and Manufacturer are optional. All other input fields must be filled out. Let's create a new Toric IOL. First, enter the manufacturer name, test, and the name of the IOL, IOL. Enter the IOL constants for the different calculation formulas. A constant, 119.0, A0, 1.309, A1, 0 0.4, A2, 0 0.1, Holiday 1, 1.74, Hoffer Q, 5.52, SRKT, 119.0. Here, we leave the Barrett DF field empty. And finally, Barrett LF, 1.88. Select the type of the IOL. As we are about to add a Toric IOL, we select Toric. Choose if the IOL is delivered with spherical equivalent steps, SE, or with spherical steps, sphere. Now enter the SE range for the first delivery range. For example, plus 6 to plus 32. Enter the SE increment accordingly. For example, plus 0 0.5 diopters. Enter the cylinder or cylinder range. For example, 1.0. If the cylinder is a one value only and not a range, you can leave the second cylinder field empty. In this case, a sill increment does not have to be entered either. In the label field, type in the name, for example, T2. If the IOL does not have specific labels, you can leave the label field empty. Then click on Save. See this delivery range appear in the list below. Let's add the next delivery range for this Toric IOL. Again, enter the SE range for the second delivery range. For example, plus 6 to plus 32. Enter the SE increment accordingly. For example, plus 0 0.5 diopters. Enter the second cylinder. For example, 1.5. In the label field, type in the name, for example, T3, and click on Save. Enter all the delivery ranges for the Toric IOL as required. You can add as many lines as you need to cover the supply range of the IOL. Make sure you have entered each delivery range line correctly before you click on Save. You are not able to edit the delivery range once it has been saved you can only delete it and enter it again. To delete a line from the list, hover over the line you want to remove until it is highlighted in light blue. Click on the Remove basket that appears next to the label field. After having entered all necessary parameters, please click on Add. The new IOL is created and appears now in your personal list. That's all for this video. Here are the top two tips 
to remember. One, if your IOL of choice is not available in the database and displayed in the All IOLs list on the Zeiss EQ Workplace web service, there is an option for manual entry. Two, make sure you have at hand all specifications, that means constants and delivery ranges of the IOL to be created. Check all IOL parameters carefully as the user is responsible for correct entry. Thanks for watching. Please check out the other videos on this website platform to learn more about Zeiss EQ Workplace.